Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, we're going to do a uh, disassembly video on the uh, throw-off and the strainer. Um, we'll talk about uh, how these come apart, show how they come apart, uh, the tools that I'm using, and then... Um, so this is off of the next drum that I'm working on. I already got things apart. Um, got the uh, rings and the barrel over there. And then I still have to remove the uh, support tubes off of the ring here. Um, going to be soaking the lugs, washers, and uh, nuts all in a PB Blaster to get all the oils and grease off of them. Uh, we'll shine those up really good. Um, the uh, mounting brackets for the throw-off and the uh, strainer are there along with the bolts. Um, all these little keeper rings, I've already cleaned those up. So those are good to go. Got the uh, support feet down here too, so we'll get those shined up. But today's video is gonna be about disassembling these. And I'll show you the tools that I'll be using. Um, just a normal Phillips head screwdriver. If we can get it to focus. Kind of a bigger one. Um, I have a uh, eight millimeter socket, uh, eight millimeter open end wrench, and then a ten millimeter open end wrench. So we'll start with the uh, we'll start with the strainer. This is the easier one; won't take very long. The uh, stop nut on the bottom is a ten millimeter, so. Basically what I do to take those off is I just spin the handle as if I were releasing it and then unbolt it like that. I try and keep things in order so that way I remember how they go back together. So I'll unscrew that a little bit more. Get the lower washer off of there. And then we just keep unscrewing this so that way we can release the set bolt. The part that actually uh, sets the height on the adjustment. Now once that's off, then this can come off. The uh, sliding plate. Set that there. There is another washer. That sits on there like that. So we kind of keep that in order, and then the uh, the nut in there, basically just get that out. And when I put this back together, I will be uh, re-greasing the sliding points right there, and then I will also be uh, re-greasing the adjusting bolt. And what I'm using for that is uh, Mobile One synthetic grease. It's really good stuff. This Vehicle grade stuff works really good on uh, those parts. It's not the same grease that I use for lugs, though I use a lighter weight grease for that. So now to get these parts, um, just two, two screws. Pretty simple. So then there you just have the outer case. So now that part's free and clean, clear, so that way I can clean it up and then um, we'll polish that as well. Screws and then your plastic part. And then you can remove the knob from the bolt itself. There's a uh, set, there's like a little set screw in there and then a, another little keeper in there. Um, normally when I clean these, I just clean them all in one, one go, so I don't worry about taking those off. And then uh, for these sliding plates here, um, they can get warped and bent over time, so that's something I'll examine, is to make sure that these aren't, uh, you know, over time the pressure will actually pull them in, and um, especially if somebody's over-tightened their uh, snares, the pressure gets really bad, and these will start to bow inwards and kind of messes with your adjusting um, abilities on them so I always make sure that these plates are completely flat and straight before they go back on. So that was the strainer side, really easy. 
Now we'll switch to the throw off. A little bit more complicated, not too bad though, just with all the, the moving parts and everything. Um, so we'll start with the uh, handle. Um, and what I've run into is they do use some type of a Loctite on these screws here. And I like to take those off and take this part off so I can actually have these two side brackets, uh, individual pieces while I clean them. Um, so I think we'll start with unbolting these two bolts right here. And you can see they have stop washers or uh, stop nuts on the other side. Those are 8mm both sides. And uh, since it's a bolt with a nut, it's kind of handy to have uh, two tools. Um, and I'll get my ratchet on one side, my wrench on the other side. And it doesn't take too much effort. They don't lock tight any of this or anything. So then it's just getting that loosened up. And then you really want to make sure you set all this in order because uh, these have these little black spacers in here. And you really want to make sure everything goes back together exactly how you pulled it apart. So as we slide that out, let that drop down, set that aside, and then same thing for this side. And these do have a little bit of oil on them. And then that's your bolt. Both the bolts are exactly the same, same length, same size, everything. So that's why you kind of want to set stuff in order on how you took it apart. Just so that we don't mix anything up. And there's uh, two less spacers on this lower bolt as well. So... So that comes off. There's only one bolt that holds that on. It's the top one, so we'll set that aside for now. We'll finish getting this apart the rest of the way. And the same thing, I like to set everything in order. We'll clean all these little parts up. And then that allows your handle to come free. And I, uh, I don't ever mess with un, um, undoing the rivets on these because it would be a pain to get that reset and get those rivets pounded back how they were. So I just clean that all in one part, but I do take the uh, handle off. Everything's pretty simple. Everything takes a bigger Phillips head so you don't have to switch around with a bunch of different screwdrivers, which is really nice. And it's not an overly large screw either. And you can see some of the mess on there from the uh, the old Loctite that they use on that. But it doesn't, normally it doesn't take too much effort to break that loose and get these screws out. And normally I wouldn't worry about taking these off, but it is kind of, uh, easier for me to, um, uh, when I go to polish these parts, it's a lot easier just working with them on their own than if they were still attached together into the handle. Clean that up. So now we'll take the, the adjusting block off there. Uh, same deal. It uh, works just like this one, only everything's kind of flipped around to where you can't see the uh, bolt in there. So we'll get our 10 millimeter back on there, and those are both the same same size stop nuts. Kind of 
kind of keep that in order. There's a lower washer on that. And then you can unscrew this the rest of the way out. And there's another washer there. And then the adjusting nut. And then the block. So all that will get re-greased. I'll clean all the old grease off, re-grease all that, so that way that works uh, really well. Re-grease these surfaces. And then um, make sure this plate, this mounting plate's nice and straight. Make sure it's not bending. I'll come to the outer shell in the uh, lower part here. Three screws that hold this plate in. Um, that one, that one, that one. Uh, to get the knob off, there's uh, one of those little um, plastic keeper washers like on the lugs. And it's a lot easier to take it off after you've removed this plate and then the uh, that lower block there. Take that off, and then two lower screws. And they have little locking washers on them as well, so you want to make sure you don't mis misplace those. And that allows all those parts to be free. So set that aside. And then uh, this piece will clean up and uh, re-grease these little journals right there. You can see they still have some old grease on them, so we'll get all that cleaned up. And then pretty much simply to remove this, just hold on to that little keeper washer and unscrew the adjustment handle itself and that'll back the bolt out. And then there, uh, there is a washer on that as well. All of these, uh, all of these adjustment handles work exactly the same way. They have a little um, Allen head uh, set screw in there and then a little uh, keeper washer that just kind of uh, gives us a, a spacer so that way the actual bottom of this doesn't rub up against the any metal parts and then the last little part right there so they're not too complicated to get apart you just want to make sure you just want to make sure that uh, you get everything in order um, you remember where your washers went you remember what nuts go where and then um you want to make sure you don't mix up uh, your adjustment handles. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter. They are the same length and everything, but I just like I um, prefer to keep everything uh, completely separate, so that way I know what went for what. Um, and uh, you can see the throw off is actually quite a few parts once you get it all all disassembled. And um, like I said, we'll we'll clean all these up. Uh, these sliding bolts will clean those up. Um, the uh, handle plates will clean those up, polish them really nice. Um, we'll make sure that these mounting plates are true and uh, flat and not uh, bending in or out. So that way uh, we don't have to worry about uh, any mishaps with it, uh, setting the snares later on. Um, the uh, lower block. Uh, Clean that up if need be, and then we'll. Uh, I already kind of cleaned. The, uh, this had some old grease on it. This is also a greased part, and that's the same bolt that goes into your end of the snares over here. And I've already uh, cleaned the grease out of that, and I'll put new grease 
in that hole uh, when I go to reassemble everything. The snares on this one are in good condition. I don't have to worry about replacing those. Um, I do have a new set of snares for a uh, future drum that I'll be working on. Uh, we'll clean the case up really good. Case is in pretty good uh, condition. The uh, the wrap isn't too bad. I think it's about the same as the other one. These two were pretty much in identical condition and uh, you, you guys saw how good I was able to get that one. So uh, we got the bottom and top rings chilling over here. I'll get those cleaned and polished really well. And then um, once I get all of these support tubes off, uh, we'll clean, if I can focus here, maybe. There we go. You can see there's some old grease down in there. We'll we'll uh, we'll get all those cleaned out, and then uh, same thing with the uh, those tops here. Uh, those have some old grease in them. We'll clean up. We'll shine this ring up really well. Get rid of a lot of the fogging and fingerprinting on there. These really aren't in bad condition, uh, so they're really good candidates for doing a super polish on them. Uh, the most time-consuming thing is once I start uh, cleaning all the lugs and all these washers and then I even have some of the nuts for uh, the mounting brackets here and then the stop nuts that hold the uh, support feet on. And then uh, when I do these, we'll make sure that all that nasty stuff in the bottom of the, th of the uh, threads there where they were threaded down in there. If this phone would focus, that'd be great. So yeah, they get they get all that old grease on them from that. So we'll get all that stuff cleaned up really well. I'll soak everything in PB, uh, PB Blaster for a while and then uh, go through and clean everything up by hand with a rag. Uh, take my fingernail on a paper towel and I'll run the bolts through them all. That's one of the most time consuming jobs on these is just cleaning all the threads out, shining up the bolts, making sure everything is real pretty and fancy looking. You don't have to do that stuff. I uh, just, just with the how good a condition these were in, they're great candidates for such a deep and in-depth restoration like that. So I'm really taking the, t the time uh, to do all that work uh, because the uh, the end result is just absolutely incredible. That thing is literally brand new condition. So that was really exciting to see everything once I finally got it together. And uh, this one is pretty much going to be the same story. Um, all the parts are in pretty good condition. We got a scratch, a couple scratches on there. Nothing I can really do anything about. I don't really have the tools for removing that, but we'll we'll shine it up, shine it up really good. Get all these parts reserviced, re-greased back together. Um, I might even do a, a reassembly video, so uh, we'll see. It just depends on how busy I get here. Um, but I'll uh, give a shout out to my fiance. She was nice enough to hold my phone. Um, she's helped me on a video before, so uh, she's super sweet to help me with these, and I appreciate it. So, so yeah, everybody, that's uh, that's everything that goes into the uh, the, the throw off and the strainer. So. A lot more going on on the throw off, a little bit more complicated, but pretty simple stuff once you get it all together, or uh, all apart, and then um, even when you put it back together, if you lay everything out really nice, and uh, you don't have to worry about trying to just have a pile of parts that you got to pick through, it makes things go a lot quicker too. So yeah, I hope, uh, hope whoever watches this finds it uh, informational and helpful, and until next time everybody, take care.